Hi there, in this short little video clip I'm just going to have a quick explanation on how I do my manual blending with my landscape images. On my find here I've got to open four images that I would like to use, either one of these four, and to show you the, the final picture I've selected these two images which I've used to make up that specific one. So what I'll do is I'll select the two of them and I'll open them in Camera Raw in Photoshop. Right, now I will start to do some basic adjustments to these images. This specific image will work fine on its own with a couple of adjustments like some fill light to fill up some of these shadow areas here, but I prefer the sky in this one. It's got quite a bit more contrast and some nicer colors to use. Right, so let's get working on these. This one I will edit specifically only for the foreground. I won't even bother to look at what the adjustments do to the sky and in this one I will do exactly the same but I will only edit it for the sky it's got, not for the foreground. Right, basically I will start off by just doing a little bit of exposure, some basic contrast quite a bit of clarity to bring out a bit of punch in those rocks and then a very important one is the vibrant slider I will not touch the saturation for one pure reason I can show you quickly if I add 20 points of saturation you'll see a horrible orange cast come out of these rocks and the saturation basically touches on the whole image and not just select the parts so if I zero that one out again and if I pump up the vibrance, you'll see it will only take effect on certain parts of the image, like the ocean, the greens, and a little bit of the orange in the rocks. I'll go to my graph where I will just boost a little bit of my highlights, lighten a little bit more, darken it a tad, and also on the shadows, basically adding a little bit more contrast. Now I'll go over to my sky image. I think this sky needs a little bit more exposure, so I'll up that just a tad about there. Contrast, again clarity to bring out the texture in those clouds. And then look at the difference the vibrance makes to the reds in this section here. Look at the before and after. That's before and after. And again, I would do just add that touch of contrast again on the graph. Maybe lighten the shadows a tad. Now, something very important you need to remember. If you're gonna, I'm selecting both of these images because now I'm gonna be doing some raw sharpening on them. Um, I do the same sharpening all over on all my images, be it a wedding, landscape, if it's in Lightroom or if it's in Camera Raw, I do it exactly the same. If you click on the Detail button at the top here, you'll get Amount, Radius, Detail, Masking. Normally I don't touch the Radius and Detail, I leave it as it is. If you hold on Alt key, either on Mac or on Windows, you will see the following. Let's just select the lighter one. If you hold on Alt key and you pull the slider, you'll get a black and white image. And this will demonstrate better your sharpening. If you look at the rocks in the foreground here, as I'm moving the slider, you'll see the difference there. Normally, I would not go more than 50 or 60 points on the sharpening amount. The same works with the radius and detail. If you hold on Alt key, you'll see the difference. Detail is basically the edge that you are working on. So I'll keep, try to keep that as narrow as possible. And the radius, the radius as well. Otherwise, if you up that too much, you'll start getting horrible halos on the, on the final image. The masking is very important because now you're going to be applying this 
sharpening to the specific edges. If you hold on the Alt key, you'll get a blank screen. I have a blank screen. Now, the more you move the slider, you'll start seeing detail appear. Everything that's white will be sharpened. Everything that's black is not sharpened. So the more you drag it, the finer you are going to make those edges. For my landscapes and my wedding stuff, I normally sharpen to between 80 and 90%. Obviously, the higher you go, the finer the edges will be. So there you'll basically only be sharpening the edges of the rocks and the cliffs. I like to keep the stuff between 80 and 90. That has been applied to both of the images now. Right, let's go ahead and open these images. You go. Let's just make that bigger. Right. Now you've got both of your images in Photoshop in your panel at the top here. But what we want to do is we want to have both of them floating on their own. So I will go to Window, Arrange, and you go Float All in Windows. So you'll get two separate floating images. Now we are going to stack them and align them on top of each other so that they fit perfectly. I will tap the V to get the move tool. Now I'll simply click on the on the light image which, which goes on the top um, and you simply drag it over onto the darker one. You'll see the little frame moving there. You hold on the shift button and you release the both of them together. So. Let's just do that again. Push V, drag it over so that it overlaps onto the other one, hold down Shift, and release both of them. Uh, and it will drop down perfectly. Alright, now we can close this one. Let's just make it bigger. Now you'll see in your layer palette here that you've got two layers. You've got the light one stacked on top of the dark one. What we want to do now is we want to add a mask to the top layer. So you click on the mask icon at the bottom and you'll see the mask appear there. The next thing you want to do is you want to hit D to zero out all the sliders and everything, take them back to default, and push G for the gradient tool. The gradient tool you'll have to select the one at the top so you've got a very nice even gradient going and this is and it's the normal straight one not the circle or the or the ones with the funny figures in just the normal straight one keep it opacity 100 and mode normal now all we're going to do is you're going to either have to drag the line from the top down or from the bottom up to blend the two images let's try from the top down see there is blended in the darker image and kept it another one. We don't want that. We want it so that you've got this exposure plus the sky from the darker one. So let's drag from the bottom up. Fantastic. Look at that. Perfect blend. Now, some, on some of the images, you might have to do this a couple of times to get the perfect blend. Um, but this one is pretty spot on. Um, now, <clears throat> you can select your brush. And I normally work it on a very low opacity, like 20%. And you can brush back more detail from the foreground. If you look at your mask here, let's just click on the mask. Alt, click, and you'll see the actual... So the black part is the dark image. And it transitions slowly over to the white one in the foreground. But what you might see is that this part here has gone a little bit darker than um, the original image because it's blended in a part of that darkness at the top. So we want to bring that lightness back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be painting on it with a white, with a white brush. You'll see in the, if we go back to there, you'll see you'll be making that whiter, much more brighter there. We basically bring, brushing away the darker mask. 
and we might be doing the same here. Let's just hold it, make our brush smaller, brush in a little bit more detail there. The ocean looks fine to me. I'm pretty happy with that as it is. Brush a little bit more here. We might have done it. Now the only thing you need to remember is once you go over these edges, you might start seeing halos, as you can see there. We do not want that because that's a clear indication of a really crappy blend that's been done. So we will try to keep that as try to stay away from the edge there. What you might do is you might zoom in a bit, make your brush smaller, and then you can work on finer areas. Should it need need to be done. And there you have it. That's a very basic blend. And I will instruct you guys in the rest of the videos how I would edit this furthermore. Thank you.